हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पाइस पार्क परफॉर्मेंस ट्यूनिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट द रीपार्टीशन एंड कोलेज सो दिस इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो इन टर्म्स ऑफ द इंटरव्यू बिकॉज इंटरव्यूअर विल आल्सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू आर हैविंग आइडिया अबाउट द रीपार्टीशन एंड कोलेज और नॉट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द रीपार्टीशन सो द फर्स्ट डाइग्राम विल बी इंडिकेटिंग अबाउट द रीपार्टीशन so let's assume we are having three machines like machine 1 machine 2 and machine 3 and under that we are having two partitions in each machine so partition 1 and partition 2 you can see in the machine 1 similarly partition 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 in all these machines so the requirement is we just want to do the repartition of all these six partitions and we'll be creating only three partitions so that you can see in the output we are having total three machines that we have inside the input and here it is going to create three partitions like partition 1 partition 2 and similarly partition 3 but it is going to shuffle all the partitions so what does it mean so what will be happening behind the scene first it is going to shuffle all the data between all these partitions so it will be going to create let's assume a chunk here and under that chunk it is dumping all the data from all the partitions and after that it is going to create the three partitions because we are expecting three partitions inside the repartition so it is creating three partitions one will go here second will go here and third will go here so first it is going to shuffle all the data and creating a chunk like this for your understanding purpose and it is again going to split out so this shuffle is happening and shuffle is very costly operation inside the spark because you can assume you might be going to have a fact table and fact table will be having a large data and that large data if you are going to shuffle that then it's very costly next let's try to understand about the coalesce so the requirement is same we just wanna have machine 1 machine 2 and machine 3 so partition 1 and 2 will be available in machine 1 3 and 4 in machine 2 5 and 6 in machine 3 this time we are going to create the coalesce so coalesce will always try to avoid the shuffle so inside the output we are having the same output like partition 1 partition 2 and partition 3 it is creating three partitions there and here what will be happening partition 1 will remain same there is no any change there partition 2 data will go here and will be going to merge so it is going to shuffle only partition 2 and will be trying to merge in the partition 1 so there is no shuffle is happening for the partition 1 similarly if we can see here so we are having partition 3 and 4 so one partition will remain same there is no any change and another partition will go and merge on the existing partition so a very little bit shuffle will be happening and it is going to get the same output if we are having multiple partitions then coalesce will always try to reduce the partition it will not increase the partition the first thing and the second thing repartition can increase or decrease the number of partitions second you can also say like repartition will be going to reshuffle all the data which is having in your existing partitions but coalesce will be going to shuffle only few data and will try to merge in the existing partitions that we have seen here like partition 2 is merging with the partition 1 so these are the difference that is having between coalesce and repartitioning let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical so here i am going to create a sample data that you can see like 1 2 3 4 only four rows are here so id date amount and customer id so these columns we are having and we are trying to write this inside one of the file that is the partition file and let me quickly go here and we'll try to read the number of partitions that we are having in this file so if you can go here and you can see the partition by on the customer id so the customer id you can see we have a b a and c so total three different values that we have here now 
if you can see in the output of this we are checking how many number of partitions that we have on this df data frame that we have created so this df data frame is total having if you can scroll down and we'll check the output so total number of partitions it is having total four partition so you can assume we have total four partitions with this and if we are going to use the collage there and inside the collage if we are going to check number of partitions so here is explicitly we are defining only two partitions so this time this get name partition will be going to return only two partitions that we can see here so you can notice like we have only two partitions here and here we have total four partitions explicitly if you are not defining anything inside the partition so you can assume like we have a very small data and that small data is going to create four different partitions for four different rows so that is not a good practice if we are not having as much big data so we should be going to create the minimum partitions that we want so i hope guys you have understood what is the difference between collation and partition and when we can go with the collation and when we can go with the partition so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video